Today, I'm gonna build a Lego castaway with a little twist. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here we have with my new build, which is gonna be a sort of beach, deserted island kind of thing. If you remember some time ago, I already built some Lego beach kind of ideas. This is gonna be a little bit different and it's gonna be a vignette that fits in a 16 by 16 base plate. You can see here, I work around, uh, try to do a nice layering effect. Uh, sometimes you can have this effect underwater, but it requires a lot of plates underneath. Uh, in this case, I decided to use one of those uh, classic uh, island kind of pirate base plate. So I already have a yellow edge over there that is going to be under these trans clear pieces. And it's going to give me a nice transition to the dark tan and the tan over here. I use all kinds of different pieces. So we have tiles, jumpers, corners, round, uh, curved slope and wedge plates, any kind of things to give this transition from the uh, part underwater and the one that get wet at the edge of the water and going into the sand over here. The minifigure is a minifigure that I pick up from the Lego store recently. And of course I added a, a nice bearded airpiece. So here we have our castaway. Now let's start to add some details. Over here you can see already added some cheese uh, slopes to create a sort of wave effect going towards the shores. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna add these uh, white horn pieces to create the effect of uh, the, the water with, that is breaking up when uh, getting close uh, to the coast. So I think this was a nice addition. They're gonna be just laying there. Then we can add a star over here on this tab. And we can also add a crab over here on this side. Uh, over here I'm gonna add a bottle and on this side I'm gonna add a rock piece. So now we already have a little bit of decoration. I think our minifigure here is gonna need a fire. So I'm gonna use a modified plate here with a couple of branch looking pieces uh, to create the support for this power blast kind of thing. If you remember I already used this in my Bandits of Golak Star Wars build uh, that I recommend you to check out. And this is gonna be standing up here, sitting there, creating a nice, very nice fireplace effect. Uh, over here, I'm gonna add a sort of a broken kind of uh, ship package. So this is a very simple build. You can see here, I use a broken piece. This is one of the classic reddish brown that always uh, fall apart. I decided to keep it, not throw it away. And now I use it to create a broken kind of effect. Here we have a couple of modified a place to, to attach this bar. And this is a cloth piece, I think, from the Flintstone set, uh, the one that was on the car, uh, that is running through the holes here of the bar. And then we are gonna just put this on the side over there. And this is probably either the way that he arrived or the way that he's thinking to escape. Now we're gonna need to add a little bit of vegetation. You can see already we have some overgrown grass over there. We are gonna add a bigger bush over there on the left. And here I'm gonna add a palm tree. I'm gonna use this stacking technique uh, that is I saw first from Andreas Nenander. I will link it down below. Uh, I'm just taking this jumper, uh, round jumper plate. I didn't put the flexible part, uh, the flexible tube inside, uh, but if you don't push the mart uh, down, you can still have the chance to give some interesting angle uh, as they are like this. And if you can see on top, I'm actually using the new fern pieces. I'm using the ang angle stats, the one that you find with the minifigure as the, the action pose, uh, to give them a sort of interesting palm looking shape. Unfortunately, I only have six of those. Uh, I would have loved to have a little bit more to see if maybe uh, adding more layers, it looks even better. Uh, but I think it's a pretty nice effect, even though it's a very chunky trunk and then a small foliage on top. Uh, this one is a little bit offset just because I don't have the one by four uh, plate in dark 10. Otherwise I would have centered this better. But I think this works quite well. So here we have our palm tree and our castaway over there. Uh, we are gonna add a couple more foliage. Uh, I'm not gonna connect this, but if, if you can see once you have two of these connected together, they just sit up uh, just right and uh, no need to actually connect them. We can just put them there. And now uh, I'm gonna add a twist and replace this minifigure with a much bigger character. 
Of course, if you are enjoying this build, please consider to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel because this will really help a lot uh, the growth of the channel and support the hobby. Uh, now, I'm making this build for uh, the Brignor contest November. Uh, I try to participate to the contest uh, every year, and this year they wanted a survivor take to the Nerly mascot. Uh, I will link down below the website, so if you want to build your own Nerly, you can do it. So we have this basically red brick. Uh, you can see on top already I added the stud, and now I'm going to build up the side. Uh, in the middle, I'm running this uh, sort of main body, and at the bottom we have the uh, feet that come from some uh, uh, kind of uh, Super Mario um, set, and also I have a jumper here that allows me to give a little bit of twist, a little bit of posing, to the minifigure, I mean, to the character. Over here I added this uh, profile brick with the round edges, because that will allow me to slide in this other cloth piece, that I'm not sure exactly from which set is coming from, it's gonna slide in, and then when I attach the bricks on top, it will hold there firmly, and this is gonna be the face of our mascot. Uh, this is the iconic uh, shape, so with the a red brick and the black glasses. I added some glass pieces here to create a sort of broken glass effect uh, using these uh, tiles over here. And I added a couple of uh, inverted slopes over here at the bottom to create this sort of smirky kind of smile over here. To complete the scene, I'm gonna add some uh, arms. So underneath here, I'm gonna connect one uh, to which is holding a fish. On the other side, I'm gonna connect this one that has a sort of uh, a bar kind of thing that he used to do stuff and walking around the island. And I think on top over here, I can also add a seagull on the jumper over there. Now, let's see if I can put it down nicely without breaking because I didn't build it super strong. Just push in the center. And there we go. So here we have our uh, build that I made for November, November 2023. Everything will be linked down in the description. Pretty happy also with the fern piece over here. And if you enjoy this build, uh, I recommend you the one that I make for uh, last year, November, that is on a totally different vibe. It was actually a winter, a frozen wild kind of build, and is linked here on the left side of the screen. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you hopefully on the next video very soon. Ciao, ciao.